Everyone has some highest revelation, right? Now, the way the ego relates to that is it's a ceiling. This is, this, the ego goes, that's the highest I've been, you know, that, that up there, you know. As, and usually it's at a particular point in time, like on a retreat or with, with a particular teacher or reading a particular book or on a particular hike or whatever, some moment where phew, something happened and you went, oh, my God. Right? And the ego goes, that was my highest moment. And I'm somewhere down here, and that moment's up there. And, you know, and that's, it, it doesn't feel bad. or it has no, That's just the way it is. But to the authentic self, that highest moment is its floor. It goes, OK, that's where I start from, and then I go from there. It doesn't, it's not interested in, what, in anything below that. Because the authentic self, just, that's it. That's its lowest level. That's, it doesn't want to go below that. It doesn't, it doesn't see any sense in going below that. It doesn't, why would you go below? You know, it's, and from the authentic self point of view, it makes no sense at all to be anywhere, but at least at your highest level. That's got to be your, that's, that's your floor. You know, that's the floor. That's the ground under your feet. And then from there, you want to go up. You know, and, and then, then you have, again, you look in your experience. These tenets are what's going to liberate that part of yourself to, to, to be what guides your choices and your actions. And, and that's, you know, and, and we aren't there, most of us. You know, we're, we're just not. But, but we can get there. And, and in this teaching, this is the prescription for getting there. 